what's up youtube family how have you guys been i am back i know it's been a really long time i feel like during the off season i always kind of disappear and then i come back at the end of it ready to go and i'm working on that i really want the next time that i go into an improvement season to really share with you guys what i do what goes on it is kind of a hard time because sorry about that i'm in the car as usual um it's kind of a hard time because once you finish a prep and you've been into this grind mode for so many months and you're just used to waking up every day being on your routine getting your stuff done having tons of cardio having to eat the same thing every day your life is kind of consumed with that and i think that that part of this journey is so cool and so interesting and so much easier to share than when my life is a little bit more slowed down and it's more flexible um yeah the, the off season is just a hard share because i always wonder like what am i going to show you know there's nothing going on i'm still doing the same training but i'm eating a bit more it's still the same kinds of foods and i'm just i feel like at the beginning you're so exhausted because you're just coming off of this high and this show and this crazy thing that you just did um which by the way i still have the show footage i know i never finished uploading it for you guys because it was just a crazy crazy time um i had never gotten to the condition that i ended up getting to for this last show and it was really really hard towards the end you guys like it took everything out of me and i'm really excited because i think this next one is going to be even better so i'm definitely pumped about that but basically once you finish with all of that stuff you're kind of you have this like adrenaline dump after the show where you feel like you don't know where to go like your emotions are all over the place you don't have your routine set anymore you have a little bit more flexibility but your body's still trying to adjust and you have to kind of reverse diet but you're like now able to be more free and indulge a little bit more and have some more of your favorite foods and things you haven't had in a while and it just hits you all at once like life just comes back all at once and it's hard i'm not gonna lie to you it's hard the improvement season is one of the hardest parts of being in bodybuilding um because you don't get the instant gratification of seeing your body change in a way that you like right because assuming that you're in bodybuilding you like to have an aesthetic look you like to look athletic you like to look lean you like to look muscular so as you soften up in the improvement season it's kind of hard mentally to process the fact that you're not going to be as shredded you're not going to be as lean you're not going to have the same amount of lines so it does get kind of hard to navigate that space and that's kind of where i've been um it's been six months since my last competition so i did take a six month off season and here we are we're just getting ramped up we're going to start cutting again in january it is november and um i feel like you get used to it or at least this happens to me i always get used to it right before it's time for me to start cutting again so i'm just now getting to a place where i'm accepting of where i am i'm liking what i'm seeing i'm appreciating the growth that i've had and now it's ready it's time to cut again so that's kind of where we are um i just wanted to check in because it's been so long and i want you guys to know that i really miss posting these videos and i want to be more consistent and something that i've really been working on in my personal like shadow work and mental work and mindset has been living in the moment and really enjoying every phase of what's coming and what's happening and really just being here instead of focusing on what's coming next what's coming next how to be better how to hit the next benchmark because you, when you're in prep you kind of get in that zone um you're always thinking about the next check-in the next weigh-in uh, what's going to happen next week? What changes am I going to see? So I really want to slow down and kind of take the time to enjoy the fact that I'm doing this. It's something that I love to do. It's something that's super fun for me and challenging and so rewarding. So I really have been working on keeping that in perspective and just being aware that for this next prep, I'm going to be present at every phase. So I just wanted to come and tell you guys that I'm really excited to start sharing again. I've also started my online um, coaching business and that's going pretty well so i will leave my instagram link down below if you don't follow me on there please do i post daily on instagram so that's a place where you can always come and say hi and follow along with what i'm doing and a lot has changed i mean last prep i did it with some friends so it was really cool because they were prepping i was prepping it was like a whole thing 
This prep that I'm gonna do now is looking like it's gonna be a solo one and I think I might even have to end up going alone to the shows that I'm gonna be doing. So it's definitely gonna be interesting, a lot of soul searching, a lot of meditating, a lot of personal like things that I'm gonna have to overcome during this next bodybuilding season but um, or this next competition season, but I am definitely ready and I'm looking forward to it. So um, I hope you guys join me. I hope you guys stick around and I'm excited to be back on YouTube creating content for you guys. Like I said, I still have clips from the last few weeks, like peak week and show day. Um, if you want, I can throw that stuff together for you and just put a video up and just have it here so that you guys can see it. It would also be cool for me to have it all together so that I can kind of look back because I do like to like watch uh, while I'm in prep, like what was going on the, the prep before. I know it's really weird, but I do that all the time. So yeah, let me know what you wanna see from me moving forward. I'm going to be definitely way more active on here. Definitely loving interacting with you guys. And to anybody that's come up to me and said hi and has mentioned that you've watched my YouTube channel, thank you so much. It's so crazy to me whenever I meet one of you guys. And um, I'm just, I'm thankful for creating this little community and just having a group of people that share the experiences that I'm having. And I appreciate you guys so much. So with all that being said, I am back. I'm going to do a video soon about how to choose your coach. Um, I've I've filmed it a few times. I've had some weird experiences, so I have a lot to say and that'll be up for you guys soon. And let me know what else you want to see for now. We're just going to keep grinding. It's Thanksgiving in two days, so I'll be vlogging here and there for you guys and I'll post some weekly vlogs leading up to prep and getting ready and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, it's so nice to be sitting here and recording for you guys again. Um, make sure you leave a comment down below, like, thumbs down, whatever. Just do something for the algorithm. I really appreciate you guys. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.